Hello friends, I'm Isil Khan and in this episode we will be learning about side distance which is the length of highway a driver needs to be able to see clearly and that's really important for a driver on a highway to see far and up down the road or highway to recognize an object in the path and react properly to avoid a crash or an accident. You can also define side distance as the length of road or streetway ahead that should be visible to the driver. There are a few types of side distance which can be considered while designing a highway or road like stopping side distance, overtaking side distance and another one is in intersection side distance. I'll try to bring a separate video on each type and this time let's talk about the first one, that's the stopping side distance. So what's stopping side distance? Stopping side distance is actually the sum of reaction and breaking distance. You can also write this in the parmolytic palm like d equals d1 plus d2 where d is stopping, d1 is reaction side distance and d2 is breaking distance. Remember d1 and d2 can be calculated by using the following formulas like d1 equals 0.28 vt where v is the velocity or speed of the vehicle and t is the time in seconds which can be actually 2 seconds or maybe 3 seconds. Also d2 must be 0.01 v square. This can also be calculated with the formula like d2 equals 0.28 v all square divided by 2g mau. I think uh, that's mau or mau. I don't know what's the exact pronunciation of this symbol but however uh, 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 it's just the break efficiency okay uh, no problem do not challenge this over here I think it's male okay just forget it so um, uh, in this formula uh, again V is the speed or velocity of the vehicle and this must be the design speed okay G is the gravitational acceleration and again mu is the brake efficiency so braking side distance can also be calculated with another formula like d2 equals v square divided by 100 plus minus 2.5 s and here s is just the gradient of road okay so these are different formulas can be used to determine the value of side distance and let's just have an example to see how these formulas work. Suppose, let's say if we are asked to determine the stopping side distance for a highway per which the design speed is 65 km per hour and we are informed to take brake efficiency as 40% and the driver reaction time which can be assumed as 3 seconds. So these are given and let's calculate the stopping side distance now which must be reaction distance plus braking distance and remember reaction distance is going to be 0.28 vt and the braking distance is going to be 0.28 v square divided by 2g mu <laughs> yes mu and uh, I'm, uh, I'm taking this formula because brake efficiency is given okay so that's why uh, I'm taking these two formulas the one is just the old one but I'm talking about that formula 0.28 v squared or by g mu and 2 okay so now uh, the only thing we have to do is just the plug and check in, in these formulas okay like you can say d equals 0.28 times v which is 65 kilometer per hour times t which is 3 seconds okay plus 0.28 times v that's again 65 square okay divided by 2 times g which is going to be 9.81 and mu that's given right okay so, so that's the break efficiency which is 40 percent or you can say this times 0.40 because i'm gonna place this uh we'll remove just the percent sign over here okay so you can divide that by 100 to remove that uh, percentage sign so now the reaction distance is going to be uh, 54.6 meter and the braking distance is going to be 42.2 meters and finally the total stopping side distance is going to be 54.6 plus 42.2 
and that's 96.8 meters and that's simple okay so 96.8 meters road line should always be visible for the driver or to the driver for safe travel so this is how we do determine the stopping side distance and let me show you okay uh, what we have done in our project you can see this one right here side distance report and it's made by me okay per ending curves the driver i height is taken is one meter okay and object height is taken 0 0.60 meters and the time okay this is the report time just forget about date so per different station we have minimum side distance which is 120 meters so this 120 is calculated by those formulas okay mentioned and explained a few minutes ago by me right so no violation is done here in our project so that's it this is how we do determine the stopping side distance for a highway or street fair and inshallah in the next video i'm gonna talk about the overtaking side distance per date just wait and please hit that subscribe button uh, and never miss another update from engineer boy thank you dears for watching see you next time